Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog and I had a sterling idea. Now, any American viewers will probably not understand this whimsical play on words, but in another video I um, was talking about free energy and how it doesn't work with the technology that we have now and some of the other obscure, more obscure, obscure ideas. Um, but while I was talking about that, I mentioned Sterling Engines, which um, if you haven't seen that video, um, there's a video from a gentleman called Lindy Beige, and he was into them in, in greater detail and definitely explains them far better than myself. Um, but for layman's terms, it's essentially an, uh, an engine that works off a heat or temperature differential. So there's um, two plates, you warm one and chill the other, and the difference in temperature um, changes the, the pressure in the reaction chamber, for want of a better word, essentially where this uh, motion is generated. And uh, the, the difference in pressure then moves a, a small piston, which then turns a flywheel. Now, I have a project. I have several projects, one of which um, you know of already, the uh, robot build, which I'm currently waiting on parts for. Um, but I have a few others, and one... I wasn't actively working on um, just due to uh, various reasons, um, time, funds, all sorts of that. But the Sterling engine, whenever I was talking about it, actually gave me an idea. Now, I'm not going to go into the project because it's still potentially a long way off and I'm still not quite settled on what way it's going to work. Um, I will be doing videos on it as and when it, it comes up, but as a... As a segue into that project, I've had smaller projects and it's all going to come together. And one of which um, is off the basis of renewable energy allowing something to continue. Yes, we'll go, we'll go with that. So the, the model I'm working off is a remote control plane. So if you have a remote control plane, usually uh, made out of foam or lightweight balsa wood or, or something to that effect, I'm, I'm working off the principle of foam, and you have solar panels on the wings, and these solar panels generate the same amount, if not slightly more energy than is expended by the motor to keep them in the air. And in theory, it could then fly continuously as long as there is um, sunlight. Now, I was working off the idea of potentially making it so that um, the solar panels generated more energy so that it could then continuously fly throughout the night and potentially have it do, I don't know, a continuous flight just in circles somewhere. Um, I can't do it near my house, it's too close to an airport and that would cause all sorts of havoc, but that's, that's the principle. Now, at the minute, with access to what I have, that's that's not possible. But I still, I like the idea of, of keeping an RC plane in the air for as long as possible. And talking about the Sterling engines, gave me an idea. Now, if you'd seen the Lindy Beige video, he um, mentioned that there was an aircraft that flew for, I believe in around six minutes. It um, took off, it just barely stayed in the air and set, set down again. I don't know when that was, um, I can't remember the actual year, but I, I, I think with, with an RC plane, a remote control plane, would a Sterling engine be able to keep it in the air? Because the motor that's in the uh, RC uh, plane is going to be generating heat. The electronics are going to be generating heat, the batteries, the wires, everything in there is going to be generating heat. And if it's uh, made out of foam, which is what I was wanting to use for this, this particular um, project, it's quite a good insulator of heat. So with the idea of a Stirling engine of working off a temperature differential, if you have, the, uh, if you have one plate on the inside being heated by just the, the ambient temperature of all of the electronics and other such that are going on, and a, another plate on the outside that's being cooled by the air because it's going to be moving through the air, a lot of that temperature is going to be wicked away. Would that then be possible to keep it going and 
would it be able to take off in the first place, which I think would be the difficult part because you wouldn't necessarily be able to control the speed easily. So the starting engine would be mounted at the front, similar to a uh, petrol powered RC plane. It would be mounted towards the front um, and the drive motor for the propeller would be mounted to that and that's going to generate friction and heat and that should in theory help keep the interior warm. But you can't increase speed with a controller as such because the speed of the Stirling engine is going to be dictated by the temperature difference between the two plates. So the greater that difference, the faster it'll move. So as it gets up to speed, so whenever it's actually moving and going, the interior temperature might not increase, but definitely the outside temperature will because of the um, airflow going past the plates. Now, there'd still need to be some form of battery to power the other motions because you still need to be able to control it using servos and such. So you could put, or my plan potentially is to put um, solar panels still on the wings, but this, in this case, they don't need to supply as much power. So they can be a lot smaller, a lot lighter, and just keep the other electronics going, the receiver and the servos, which are fairly low power devices, uh, so that it's still controllable and usable. That's the idea. Now, I did have another for just a pure solar panel one, and I'm gonna talk about it briefly, but I don't think it'll work. So, with the solar paneled idea, it's pouring from the sun if, and it wouldn't get enough, not without making the wingspan massive as it stands. And I was trying to think of another way around this to be help give it the best opportunity, try and make it as efficient as possible and, and all the rest. And I had an idea and then I sort of immediately dismissed it and then I thought about it a bit more and I don't know, I don't think it'll work. But I was thinking it's going to be moving through the air anyway. So what if you had on the rear of the fuselage sort of fans, propellers, if you picture a, um, an old steamboat that has that sort of flap system at, at the back of it that, that then pushes the water and that's, that's what gives it propulsion. Something like that. Because um, working off the basis of passive power, taking energy from something that's already happening, the air is already going to be going over the wings and past the plane. It's going to be pushing forward through the air. So what if you had two of these propellers either side that were spinning and generating energy from the wind coming over. So um, if you picture this is the rear of the fuselage and the wings are somewhere forward of here and you had two sort of panelled devices here and as the wind comes towards it they would spin and generate motors or generate electricity from motors based on the inside. Now, if you think about that, you'd go, yeah, that would work, that there's already, yeah, there's, there's the energies there, why not use it? But I actually think that the drag enforced by these, because they're gonna be, you know, essentially, they're, they're gonna be made to catch some air. So there is gonna be a lot of um, resistance and drag, so it's gonna slow the plane down. Now, that on top of the extra weight, because you're gonna to have to add in a motor in there, or two, that are going to be generating that electricity that's then fed back into the system. Does the energy increase compensate for the added weight and the drag? I'm going to say probably not. I'm going to say it's probably going to be less efficient. However, I thought about it and I didn't really fancy doing the maths to work it out. So I, I might try it. Um, it wouldn't be too hard to put that onto an RC plane. Um, once I have one built that will work in some shape or form, it would be hard to put it in and just see, does it stay in the air longer, which would be the, the, the key factor. Does it actually give it that bit more power uh, and, and see? So I'm, I'm going to do that potentially at some point once I've got things um, sorted, but the, the, the main idea that I've had is the Sterling engine powered RC plane. Now I'm no expert on aerodynamics or planes, 
in any shape or form. So this is going to be a big learning experience for me anyway. But I'm going to start at the engine. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, build the Stirling engine. Now I would like to point out at this point in time, as I stand here right now, I've done no research on this as far as Stirling engine efficiency and, and all that good stuff. I, I do know that I believe they can, they can work up to an efficiency of 50%, which is the same as a diesel um, engine. However, they're usually a lot larger and a lot heavier. Um, and this I'm going to be trying to make from whatever I have and whatever I can get cheaply because I, I, I'm a cheapskate and I don't like spending a lot of money on these projects where I can avoid it because it's just me tinkering about in my own time. Um, so I am going to be looking up designs, uh, seeing there's plenty of videos on YouTube of people building Sterling engines, I'm going to be looking at them and seeing what I can adapt and make to make something that would potentially work. Um, I've had no design ideas yet. As soon as I do, I will do another video talking through what I'm maybe going to do um, and some other bits and pieces like that. Now, whenever I go to build it, I'm afraid to say you will not be getting it in 1080p because I'm currently recording this on my phone and it does not have the capacity to sit and just watch me tinkering with something because a Sterling engine build, I will video myself making it from scratch and it will take a while. I will be tinkering away for quite a while. So I'll be switching to a different camera that only does 720p, but it'll be sped up anyway. Um, so yes, a sterling idea for a sterling engine.